Hi guys, Richard here. Just want to have a quick conversation around what's happened in the markets overnight. Dollar, the yen has a speculation of intervening and this is a great little topic for everybody. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, maybe five minutes. So watch this video. If you don't really use fundamentals in the market when you're trading, it is important that you you understand what's going on. Now there's two types of fundamentals that are going on. Okay. There, the first one is is the ones that are known. We know some uh, um, news events are coming up and we can see between consensus and the actual, if there's a large deviation between the two, then we're going to get a correction in the market. But sometimes there is, uh, especially with economies like uh, the Japanese yen, is that they like to keep their um, their currency within a band. If it's too weak, they want to strengthen it. If it's too strong, they want to weaken it. Okay, and this is what's happened last night. Okay, let's just quickly go over to the DXY. We have had an uh, upward trajectory, so US dollar strength has been happening for the last for a, for a while now. Okay, and what we can see is that because of that strength that's been happening. Um, the dollar yen has, uh, and this this strength has you know come out of the U.S. government you know potential shutdown that's happened, uh, you know uh, inflation numbers which are kind of steadying, uh, the, the pace of the economy which is you know you can see it in the last statement here uh, at a solid pace. Okay, uh, jobs uh, you know remain strong etc so the economy looks like it's not out of you know it's certainly not out of the woods but it's it's better than what it was go back six months okay it was it's a lot better okay now I recommend everybody go over to uh, Bloomberg and have a look at this video I'll in here okay months. let me just let me just pause that this video in here is will probably give you some context around what's happening now Obviously, the yen has weakened so much that the um, the Japanese uh, central bank want to intervene on it. Okay, so let's go over here. It, we were sitting up here at the 150 handle. Now, what what they don't they don't want it to be up at 155 or 160. Okay, let me just go enlarge this. Um, this is a four hour chart. Let's enlarge it. They don't want it up here. Okay, it's it's way too weak. Okay, they want us. They want to uh, give it strengthened a little bit. We, if we go back, let's just go back on a weekly chart. Let's go back to speculation of interventions. Okay, down here in 2011, 2012, etc. There was it was very strong. Okay, because of, obviously because of the U.S. dollar weakness. Okay, this this candle here is an in, uh, a speculation of intervention. Okay, now usually with interventions, what they're trying to do is buy or sell their own currency so that they will either weaken or strengthen it. Now, most of the time, the Japanese don't necessarily have to um, actually put money in. They can just, just based on the speculation of them doing it, and you can see here, yen surges a weakness. That was the that was the headline a couple of hours ago, but this is the new headline. Japan keeps uh, yen traders guessing over whether it will intervene. Okay, so they haven't actually intervened, but the speculation of them intervening is enough to move the market. Okay, and it did move it quite hard. Now, if you understand this, and this is what's important for traders, not to just trade based on technicals, it's very important for us to trade and have a have a reasonable understanding of what happens. Uh, what happens on a fundamental basis and you know we can teach you all of that stuff okay uh, the known ones and the unknown ones all right so we were trading this okay we were we had uh, we were on in dollar uh, uh, CAD yen okay based on a, a very nice SR level support resistance level that was coming in from back over here Here's our support resistance level. It did pop up through, and then when it came back, um, it, uh, it started to fall. But then and it started to fall. And the reason for it falling is that, you know, traders already know that 150 is pretty high. 
okay for dollar yen so that means it's quite weak so it's you know you can you could probably guess that traders are going well this is this is a bit overcooked at the moment so we're going to slow down the pace we understand that the the fed uh, the US uh, government shutdown is kind of did come to an end they did come to a settlement um, well they kicked the can down the road at least um, and oh, the strengthening of the US dollar is you know is, is kind of had its run okay if you look at some of the the other uh, dollar based pairs you know they're quite long in the tooth I mean if we go over to here to the sterling you know we've been going down for days now okay or for, for you know over since the 1st of August late July okay so if you've got a sustained long-term trend then it does have it may take a breather okay and we'll show you where all of those levels in for example the level the next level on really on uh, sterling USD will be down here at the 119 11850 level okay it's got it sitting at 121 um, then the 120 then 19 okay but this is this is a very good support level for this to run into and move back same with gold let's have a look at gold let's have a look at gold looking for it's 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 had a massive run from down from uh, you know 1920 down into 1820 so that's you know that's a hundred dollar hundred dollar move okay 1800 is the next level we can see here that you know this this SR is you know looking at the uh, 1800 level so we may touch 1800 and have a bounce back up okay so a lot of traders on the downside are maybe thinking about pulling their positions and taking profits and a lot of all a lot of the buying you know might start up around here as well like the DAX we trade a lot of the DAX um, and that's sitting at a you know the 15,000 level it's looking at 15,000 which is a big huge handle 18 eighteen hundred dollars on gold fifteen thousand on DAX these are big levels okay so this may be coming into the end of the run okay all right so going back over here it's important to understand the news where where does which what countries are doing what how they interact with each other we can certainly trade and our trading on uh, known events is you know a high success rate um, but you know we've got to be prepared also for shock announcements and this is why it's very important to be running stop losses okay guys hopefully you got a bit out of that if anybody's interested in what we're doing we have got our discord channel I invite everybody along it's for free you can see what we're doing we can see you can see us uh, you know making our trades discussing our trades for example if we go back days and days ago okay you can see here that um, I've been I've been looking still short CAD yen okay so you can just simply just copy what I'm doing um, here we go back here on the 22nd of September I was I was shorting CAD yen okay and then it finally comes through by the end of uh, by now okay we were sitting in it for a while but we got we got the trade okay we put up these swing trades all the time you can watch us day trading you can come in and watch us trade live okay um, we do have a members area for those guys who are training with us but all of this stuff is here is for free for you to come and have a look at I encourage you to come along the more the merrier the more we'll learn and the more we'll profit okay guys thanks a lot for listening I'll see you later